Hello violin players. I've had my bow rehaired and it's just arrived in the post. So I'm going to share with you my excitement and unbox it. So let's see what's in it. I've just taken the tape off so that it's easy to get the bow out. But let's see what we get here. And that's a little protective bit of plastic. And here we go. So I'm really excited because I've got this in this little tube by post because I was unable to go and collect it from the violin makers. So let's see what it's like. There it is, and that's the bill. I'll keep that safe. Properly covered in a plastic sleeve. I'm just going to tighten it and have a look at how the hair has been done. So it's really nice and clean as you can see. It's really nicely spread out here. Ah, and they've cleaned it all up and done it properly. So I'm just going to roll in my bow now. A new hair, similar to when you buy a new bow, doesn't have any rosin on. So you're going to have to rosin quite a bit and as usual you may know this I'm covering the heel of the bow with my thumb so I don't smash the rosin into it and then I'm going to rosin my bow bit by bit really short sections here it comes and I have my bow rehaired because it was turning very slippery. I could feel that it was tracking a little bit less well on the strings and it was just sliding about a bit more than usual. So if I have my bow rehaired, well, at least once a year, but usually it's more like once every 10 or 11 months or so, depending how much I play. I play a bit less now than I used to do, so it's more like once a year now. If you play a lot, nine months is, is a good time to have your bow rehaired. Right. Let's hear what that sounds like now. You can really get that feel back of how the bow tracks on the strings and that's absolutely vital for a good tone quality. So there you go, I'm super excited. It is delightful to have new hair on my bow. Thank you Russell at Woodbridge Violins and thank you all for watching.